Brothers. It's Rodney Price, aka Bounty Killer. Yo, this is Skip Money. Yes, yes, blessings and light money. Hi, I'm Shaky Penny Mason. This is Kanye West. Yes, yes, blessings and light money. 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 Okay, think I lost Nathaniel P to you there. Nathaniel, can you hear me? Hi, uh, Sobran, can you hear me? Can you see me? I can hear you clearly. Karen, can you All hear right. me? I sure can. Fantastic. Right. Good, good, good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the late one. And tonight I've got a very interesting uh, show. And the show involves um, this virtual fundraiser, Europe by Friends, Unite for Jamaica. Now, many people say, Silburn, what's going on? You normally talk politics, Brexit, you know, COVID. And you're only talking about Brexit and all those things, conservative party business and all those. What's going on? You're into entertainment now. Are we going to have Beanie Man? Many people are saying, are we going to see the belly with Beanie Man or something like that? That's what we really want to see. But nevertheless, still, I'm not going to say anything about that. I'm going to introduce my two guests, which is Ms. Karon Chung. She is the executive director for American Friends for Jamaica. Am I correct? American Friends of Jamaica. American Friends right. of I just wanted to test her to make sure that she's on top of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And of course, Nathaniel Pete. Nathaniel Pete has so many hats that I do not want to get it wrong. So Nathaniel Pete, shoot. First hat. Um, well, I, I'm the chair, chairman of Jamaicans Inspired, which is a national diaspora organization. In addition to that, I am the, the representative, elected representative for the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council responsible for the Southern United Kingdom, directly advising the government of Jamaica through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and looking up the diaspora matters here. But other things, I'm an entrepreneur as well. But main thing here is Global Jamaica Diaspora Council and the chairman of Jamaicans Inspired. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, the show is just finished now because, I mean, we have nothing more to say now because nothing to Peter said it all. <laughs> And, and 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 also you're so you're my representative for London, isn't it? That's right. That's right. Um, I'm here in the capital um, of the United Kingdom, yeah. and um, you know, streaming here um, and across cross cross borders with um, New York. I know Karen is in New York, uh, yes. United States at the moment. So so Karen, just to, just to familiarize ourselves now, because we took a, a trip around the world now. New York, New York, big city of dream, and everything in New York is all what it seems. That's a rapper used to do many years ago. I believe it's Grandmaster Flash. What is New York like now? New York is sunny and bright and um, feeling calm where I am. Yes. Uh, we are, I believe, get it going into phase two of getting back to, to some sense of normalcy on Monday. So mm. New York is, is gradually trying to come out of COVID-19. Yeah, and tell us more. I mean, you're Jamaican. I mean, yes, tell us more about yourself. I was, I was born right there in Kingston, Jamaica. And, you know, I have to say, Silburn, you, you, your topics might have been more, um, you know, serious in nature. And this is serious today because yeah. we, are, we are discussing COVID-19 and how it's impacted Jamaica. Um, yes. So so this is this is the purpose of this this interview and this this dialogue with you and i'm so grateful to be able to share with you and your listeners fantastic so tell us now i mean you saw the people saw the video a while ago and wondering what is this concert about so if you can um tell us about the concert and the whole rationale behind it and of course i'll bring in nathan nathaniel to talk about the uk work with it as well so if you can shoot and let us know what is this big online concert yeah so I'll just go back a little bit, um, Silburn. You know, COVID-19 caught, I think, the world by surprise for the most part. We weren't expecting it. Um, it got to Jamaica and uh, immediately, of course, um, protocols had to be put in place. Um, there was quarantining. Uh, people were, jobs were being lost. Uh, <coughs> children could not go to school. And, you know, when... When the, the world is affected by 
any kind of um, recession or pandemic, it quadrupled mm. in Jamaica. The people in Jamaica are affected even more. Early on, um, our organization, the American Friends of Jamaica, which is headquartered here in New York City, we yes. are a registered 501c3 nonprofit that's been funding programs in healthcare, economic development, and education for nearly 40 years. Yes. Um, when this pandemic broke out, I remember thinking to myself, my Lord, um, this is terrifying for people in communities in Jamaica who are already unable to provide for their families the way, the way they would like. Uh, the, the informal economy, how are they going to manage? So mm. early on, our organization took on uh, the responsibility of getting donations of PPE, PPE equipment yeah. and supplies. We uh, delivered just over 100,000 US dollars in of PPE equipment just at the start of COVID-19 in Jamaica. Um, yes. It was delivered to the University Hospital of the West Indies. Um, immediately after that, we, 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 we started to think about how can we help Jamaicans get back on their feet after yes. they've lost their jobs. Their children are now at home, not able to go to school. Um, the healthcare workers are being impacted. People are now mandated to wear masks. Where are they going to get masks from to be able to mm. adhere to protocol? Yes. Uh, so we decided to call on some of the friends of Jamaica, the friends of the American Friends of Jamaica, who are the yes. artists who have either performed in our fundraising in the past or who have been engaged in some way. Artists yes. who we know are philanthropic. You know, what they, as they say, uh, to whom much is given, much, much is expected. Yes, so yes. we've had some some relationships and some some interactions with the artists who are have participated on our program so all of them as you know have either foundations they give back in one way or the other in jamaica we called on them and not one of them hesitated we also mm -hmm. reached out to sheku Kane mason who's based there in london and sheku was very open to doing a performance of no woman no cry bob marley's song, his rendition of Bob Marley's song for the and, concert. And, and for the benefit of those, um, that's a gentleman who actually performed at Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding, isn't it? That's correct. Sheikh Okane Mason. Uh, yeah. he, he, he did a fine performance on our concert with his cello. And I want to encourage your viewers to check it out. In addition to all the other artists, uh, we also have as host DJ Khaled, Buster Rhymes, yeah. uh, Beanie Man performing, Bounty Killer, Skip Marley, Christopher Martin, the legendary Sister Nancy, yeah. uh, Dre Island, Busy Signal, Leela AIK, and we also have an after segment, which I'm also I'm sure your 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 uh, Nathaniel can probably confirm whether or not this segment will be included with um, Max Glazer. So it's quite a lineup of reggae artists, the biggest names in reggae, coming mm. together to perform and entertain all for worthy causes. Fantastic. And, and Nathaniel, what's your involvement now? You're bringing it into Europe because I understand you are the America segment, but now this is like the European leg, isn't it? That's right. That's correct. right. That's right. I mean, you know, um, yeah. when, when, when we initially began to see this, it was actually the president of the American friends of Jamaica that reached out to say, look, it would be great if we could have some European support on this. And so yeah. when I did, when I, when I could see initially that the, the traction, they needed more traction with everything. And I said, you know, because the time frame at which this was originally broadcast in the, um, you know, uh, the States last week, we said, we have to do something for, you know, the, the European market. Of course, you know, there's so many people in Europe that love but the thing is, there is a diaspora here that wants to support Jamaica through philanthropic giving. And, you know, the AFJ has done so much work in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They have done so much work in terms of supporting the people. And this is what this is about, you know, whereby we're helping young people, families that are struggling with food, where we're speaking about, you know, providing young people with education because they cannot go to school. So then digital education, where we're speaking about health matters. You know, these are things that the diaspora really has interest in. And we said, you know, we need to try to mobilize more people to, to, to try to connect the 
United Kingdom, Belgium, to connect France, to connect Holland, to ensure that the European uh, diaspora and Europeans have the ability then to see this amazing production as well as then see the work of the amazing charity that that, that is um, over there in the United States that has been supporting Jamaica. And the theme in itself um, is Friends Unite for Jamaica. Again, this is global friendship. This is global work. This is the initial, uh, you know, thing that we're trying to get this viral. This is not just about, you know, um, UK or, or, or USA or Canada. You know, we're speaking wider than that because the diaspora is spread out in, 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 in the United Arab Emirates, across Africa, even in deep into, um, you know, uh, the Asians. And so there's a number of uh, people that have the ability to plug directly into this. And and this is where we, um, within the United Kingdom, have connected then the uh, partners involved with this that are going to hopefully help to get this to a wider global um, marketplace, essentially, you know, whereby people will be able to um, donate directly into this very, very worthwhile project. Yeah. This is not about a government. It's not about, you know, corporation. This is about really the people and the, the, the and it's young people in particular, as well as families and, and communities directly impacted as the result of this COVID-19. Many people have lost their jobs. Young people can't go to school. You know, there's an issue in terms of work you know you know with young people and school work but you know that is not even a priority because the main issue is food they need to get the kids food so education has really been pulled back as a result of this covid 19 yeah okay with, yeah yeah you know i could i could speak all this up and say, yeah yeah, yeah. Over, you know? no i understand because I see, I see the work that you guys have been doing especially with jamming um during the uk as well with food packages and all those sort of things, which is also crucial. But I want to go back to Karen, Karen now, and uh, she keep reminding me it's it's Karen. So, ladies and gentlemen, you don't do like I do because you know you get sued. You know what I'm trying to say, Karen Chung. Karen, how so? How will this work now? Because there was a telethon before, uh, uh, I think a month ago, and you have this recently in the states. Now, how how does it work now for people who want to get engaged from the UK now? Because we're ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about tomorrow at around this time, isn't it? Nine nine around this time it is the show will start. 8 p.m. Eight p.m. Yeah. Oh, eight p.m. Eight p.m. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So tell us how it works now. And and I sh I should also tell you, uh, Silburn, that it's it, it is just over one hour of programming. So yeah. I want to urge your listeners to get on to start to tune in at eight p.m. because when it starts, the program tells the COVID story in Jamaica. You actually right. get an opportunity to see captivating images of what COVID looked like, looks like in Jamaica. And then it goes into the entertainment. It's really all about the fundraising. It's about raising funds for communities, as Nathaniel said. The, uh, you know, we have also been working with the private sector organization of Jamaica, the PSOJ, on uh, raising funds for communities affected by COVID-19. And we have been assisting the PSOJ to raise funds to be able to deliver food packages in communities across the island. So I share that to say we are connected with very strong partnerships on the ground in Jamaica to execute, deliver, and to, to fulfill the mission and the objectives of this, this uh, program, Friends Unite for Jamaica. Yeah, and, and the key thing uh, many people will say sometimes, okay, it's not involved with government. Um, of course, yeah, I think you have answered the question where you're connected on the ground, but the level of assurance that people can have that the funds that they donate during the concert will be going directly to the people that are most needed. What is the level of assurance and guarantee you can say to people? What what I can say is what what, what I'd like to say is uh, if you if if, if your viewers um, look at the history of the American Friends of Jamaica, we have been around for nearly forty years, as I said earlier. Yes. And every year we present grants during a formal grant ceremony at the U.S. Embassy in Kingston. We have a grant cycle that starts each year in November, and grant applications are approved. Grant checks are presented each April. Our history, the history precedes us. Um, mm -hmm. the, the legacy of the AFJ goes way back. Um, we have partnerships. We've done work at St. Anne's Bay Hospital where, where we've refurbished an entire ward. We have done, done work at Mandeville Hospital, at mm -hmm. Kingston Public Hospital. Uh, recently, just before the COVID outbreak, 
we took a team of doctors to Jamaica, to, to the University Hospital of the West Indies, where we performed sight saving surgeries on patients who were on a backlog, waiting to have surgeries, waiting for services, and they were, were, were just waiting and their vision was being further impaired. So the history of our organization and the work we've done over the years precedes yeah. this event. It really, um, you know, what, what I can say is there, there are 100% of the funds raised from Friends Unite for Jamaica will go directly to programs in Jamaica. All the funds raised through this, this effort in the UK, in Europe, will go to programs in Jamaica impacted by COVID-19. Yeah, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for joining. Those on YouTube, um, and if you want to go onto YouTube, you can watch it as well, Silburn TV, which is streaming live. Uh, also on Facebook, which I'm here. And also for those who are watching, if you can share this video as well and to be clued on, because we're going to sort of look now as to, if you can break down the different artists and the, and the rationale of these different artists. You, you said you start off with DJ Khaled, Yardman style, and uh, Buster Rhymes. You know, if you can break them down, the different artists, yeah. It, it's, it's amazing how we have so many friends of Jamaica. And I think we, we all agree, DJ Khaled is a true friend of Jamaica. He loves Jamaica. He's done a lot with Jamaicans in the music industry and otherwise. Uh, DJ Khaled agreed without hesitation to, to join us on this program. He is one of our hosts. The yeah. second host is Buster Rhymes, who you know hails from Jamaica. And mm. Buster has a lot of great uh, work under his belt. So both uh, gentlemen were our, are our hosts on Friends Unite for Jamaica. Uh, coming out of the recent Versus um, uh, segment, um, we got a lot of requests for both Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. And we were very pleased that they both were available and willing to join the Friends Unite for Jamaica in our programming. So I, need, both I, need, I, need, I need to stop you there because people are saying the only reason they want to see Beanie Man is because of the belly. And I mean, is, is that going to be shown? Well, I, I, am, I, I, I am going to tell your viewers that they need to tune in to, <laughs> to, 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 to be able to see. <laughs> and don't be killer. Yes, uh, yeah, do yeah. so. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It, 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 they, they both did quite an exciting performance for yeah. Friends Night for Jamaica. Uh, Nathaniel, um, regarding the different artists, I mean, you're the, the, the really involved with the last one. What would you say about the, the artists, the, the reggae artists of Jamaica and their sort of involvement? Because right now we understand most of them are not like working in the sense of getting, going to concerts. Maybe they are through their videos or their, their music or whatever like that. What do you think about them and the way they have been contributing at this time amidst the whole COVID time? I mean, I mean, the support has been outstanding. You know that I was involved in the telethon. That's yeah. very different from this, in fact. Um, um, you know, from the telethon even to this, the artists have just been so philanthropic. But you listen to most of their music. The music is constantly speaking about helping people. Mm -hmm. When you understand that these artists are committing voluntary their time, you know, when we're speaking about... Um, just the philanthropic nature, even though they are themselves not earning right now because many of the tours have been cancelled. More mm -hmm. their function and their earning has been stopped because they're not able to do these concerts internationally. Their calendars have been completely disrupted. Like many of us, there is this social heart and mind that is committed to this thing, and it just shows the nature of the artists that are directly involved. I mean, Seen Beanie Man, we've seen Bound to Kill out there, Skip Marley. You know, you have um, Little Eye Cater. You know, these these are, these are superstar um, reggae um, icons around the world, and for them yeah. to actually see the need is something amazing. Yeah. And 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 really, just want to head off to them. Maximum respect to the people that are involved in this. You know, not just the artists, but the people in the background, the volunteers that have come on board. Even in terms of the mobilization of the guys that are in Europe as well, and the willingness for them to be directly mm -hmm. engaged within this. And 
fantastic and we just really have to big them up um, because it's about the people we just need now the people we need the diaspora we need the friends of the diaspora now to just contribute directly to this project you know it's such an amazing thing that is happening whereby we have the ability now to really give some tangible help to them directly on the ground you've heard the partners on the ground and and now it's about helping the, the people um you know to, to, to by contributing and and going onto the website it's an easy website to remember it's just the af um fa um uh, dot org and yes. uh, you'll be able to actually plug directly into that and and it's actually scrolling across the screen ladies and gentlemen um current we, we we got skip marley yes yes skip marley performed actually one of my my favorite songs, Lion, which speaks to the times. And um, as Nathaniel said, uh, Silburn, when you hear the performance by each of these artists, you hear them bringing their all to the performance, even though they themselves, as Nathaniel said, is experiencing unpredictability with their schedules, with their earnings. They yeah. came to this project and gave it their all. Skip Marley, uh, Busy Signal, yeah. who has been, is, is so philanthropic by nature. He has his own foundation, as you may know. Christopher Martin, Sister mm -hmm. Nancy. Ah, uh, Sister Nancy. I want, to stop, I want to stop there. Mama Nancy. Mama Nancy. Yeah. Mama Nancy. That, yeah. that, that's, is that from my days? I don't want to give my age, but I used to remember Bam Bam, you know what I mean? Growing up in Jamaica, in Ocho Rios. Bam yes. Bam. Yes, yes. So tune in to hear Bam Bam. <laughs> yes, yes. I look forward to it. Yeah, carry on, carry on. Sorry to interject yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Leila Aiki, uh, yeah. Dre Island, all of them uh, are so, it's, it's all about people uniting, coming together for a cause in a time of need, and they mm. all have come together, contribu contributed of themselves, their talents, yes. and uh, given, given it really 100% to help raise uh, funds for worthy programs in Jamaica. I think, I think this is beautiful, and uh, and and. And one of the things I'm thinking about is that when things go back to normal or the level of normalcy, that people should really reach out to support, especially these different artists. I'm actually doing my bit where I'm going to start reach out to whoever I can interview as well, you know, promote their products as time go by because, you know, everybody's actually feeling it. When, when, you, when you mentioned about that people in Jamaica is actually experiencing the hardship, we all know that it's different from the UK or in America where, well, let's, I can only speak for the UK where you've got the benefit system, right, Nathaniel? Where people That's can right. always, we, we've got the furlough where people are getting money. If people are destitute, they can go to the council and get some sort of welfare thing. I can speak for myself because if I was in Jamaica at this time now, I know my father, late father, would be working with the tourist trade in Otrius, and all those places are shut down. I know my mother was working in the tourist business as well. Hotels shut down. I'm trying to think, how would they survive? Nasa, um, still, still burn. Yeah. you know, let, let us first say the government of Jamaica has done mm. an incredible job. Yes. I know mm. that there, ha there has been um, care packages, care programs, etc. But yes. the fact is, as a developing country, Jamaica mm. does not have stimulus packages Mm. Jamaica does not have unemployment in insurance. So the people who have been laid off or, or released from work and yes. have no income, they have no recourse for, 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 for earnings. During yes. the time of COVID, whatever period of time, they have no recourse for earning. So how mm. will they manage? How will the student who is not going to class, who is now at home with the mother, whether it's the single mother or the parents who are out of work, who their main concern is, how am I going to feed my family? How are mm. they then going to share, divide their time to focus on their, 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 their children's education, to guide them? Some of them, as you know, aren't able to, they don't have the capacity to help students, help students at home. So mm. it is a dire need. It is a very dire need. The people in communities where, you know, when I think about it in some communities where the living space is very, very limited and yeah. families may, there may be as many as six or more people living in a small space. There's no fan. There's water lock-offs ongoing. Mm. And there's, there's the issue of, of, of no food. How, how, we need to, to really stand up 
and mm. try to help the people, the people in communities that really need the help. They need food, they need food, they need help with their students, they yeah. need healthcare support. I, I want Natalia to speak into that as well, because you're doing some stuff on raising some money for Jamaican stranded in France, was it? That's right, yeah, we had a big fundraiser um, for yeah. the Jamaicans that are stranded in France. And, and basically, what happened with them was um, there's a number of, of uh, young people, students and so forth that were stranded. We raised about three and a half thousand uh, euros um, and we're, con we're now donating directly to some of them um, on the ground in France. And, and you know, it's, it's really to help them because towards their flights, uh, we had a few of them that reached out to us. And then we did this quick fundraiser with our partners in France, Jam in France. And um, now those funds have been di uh, distributed amongst them. Uh, we're dividing the funds up. Um, some of them will be getting their flights back. Others, it was yeah. around food. It was around accommodation. I mean, imagine that you go there for two, three weeks and now you're stranded there for three and four weeks after that or even a month. And so they were struggling in terms of accommodation. We reached out to the network as well, whereby there were Jamaicans living there, whereby those Jamaicans were able then to stay in that accommodation that they're in, those um, Jamaicans that are living there. And then we connected the dots so that some of them had accommodation and for others providing food and things, you know, um, that they can wash with, uh, you know, bathroom related things. And, and, um, and we're assisting yeah. uh, with flight. Okay. Yeah, Natalie, I'm picking up a little. Yeah. I'm picking up a little. Um, the refrigeration flights. Yeah. Gotta go. mm. Okay. Um, okay. So, it's, want, so we're working yeah. hard. Okay, fantastic. And Carol, in, in wrapping up, I just want to. So, how I, I noticed that you got the, the show will be streamed live on VP Record, Tough Gun International. How can people all um, see the show t tomorrow night from wherever? Um, I'd, I'd actually like Nathaniel to tell you about the, the streaming partners that we've, yeah. um, we've engaged in the UK. We are so appreciative of their partnership and their, their, their readiness to stand up and support. Um, yeah. Nathaniel can share. But if I may just add one more Please. thing, um, Silburn, and Please. that is, you know, the world is changing. The way we socialize, the way we educate, the way we learn, the way we, we, we live is changing yeah. as a result of covid and just to add to the uh, digital learning for students in Jamaica, mm -hmm. you know, um, people, you're not going to have children going back in classrooms of 30 or more for a while, uh, for the foreseeable future. There will be uh, e-learning. E-learning is going to become commonplace, more commonplace. Mm -hmm. Students in Jamaica uh, don't have tablets. They don't have access to mm -hmm. computers in their homes. Yes. There are tablets. There are devices that they can be they can be they can get that we can offer them through our fundraising we yeah. will we will we will offer digital devices that students can use to learn from home that they can continue with their education and not fall behind in their in their literacy mm. before i go on to nathaniel and as you're on to that point because we're seeing this is not just the one-off telethon tomorrow night um, but it's going to be an ongoing thing. Um, for the UK, or, or maybe it's Nathaniel, maybe to answer, I don't know, you guys decide which one, but is the UK coming on board with this sort of project from this side for the continual process, like with the tablets? Because one of the things we have been hearing from, I know a couple of teachers, they're struggling. Like one teacher I know, I think he said, lots of the children are in the hills where electricity is still a factor. And how can they benefit I mean, some are okay, their families are okay, but what about those in the hills? Those are impoverished. Uh, you know, how can those um, students benefit? So it's going to be a long term thing, isn't it? So, how is the UK yes. going to come along um, in this way of helping? That, that's where partnerships come in, Silver, mm -hmm. partnerships with community centers, partnerships with churches where children can go and get yeah. access to, to um, data, they can get onto the internet with their devices, all they need to have is their own device and they can go into community centers, churches, et cetera, um, places that are earmarked for this kind of service. And they're, they're spread out across Jamaica, but the students just need, and you know, there are so many young people with, with ambition. All yeah. they need is an opportunity. All they need is an opportunity to be able to learn 
and 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 realize their ambitions so it is our responsibility to really try and spread the word really canvas all the friends of jamaica into yes. our network and help raise funds to to to, to make this come to a rea reality and it's striking me that we're talking about youths a lot it is youths going to be affected a lot isn't it the young youth, yes youths and i would say the food security programs is also equally important because you know people can't children can't learn on hunger bellies and okay. uh, people can't survive and work on hunger bellies. So food relief is equally important. Mm. So Nathaniel, um, from the UK perspective and the, the link in with um, Friends of uh, Jamaica UK arm, is, is there a plan in, in regards to that? Nathaniel? Nate? What? Nate? Well, I Nate? Mean, Nate? You know, they're on oh. the radar. Uh, not, okay. you know, they've done so much. Me? Yeah, yeah, Hello? yeah, yeah. I'm hearing the Nathaniel. Go on. Okay, yeah, sorry. So, um, we, we are linked in now. So, the thing is that, you know, the United Kingdom, the diaspora, always likes to work with credible charities. And this is a credible charity, a, a registered 501 organization that has supported Jamaica with real things, real things underground. And this is where we now moving forward from here, uh, we'll be driving people towards donating to this very worthy charity, this very worthy organization in, 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 in the United States. Yes. Um, we, uh, we do our own work obviously here as well. And the thing is, everything is about partnership. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is you have, like on the planet of the apes, whereby they have one stick, one stick weak, many stick strong and so mm -hmm. this is about basically bringing the partnership approach to mm -hmm. trying to fight the social ills that exist in jamaica where we're speaking about social deprivation where we're speaking about youth unemployment where we're speaking about health issues as we work together as a diaspora coming together as one Jamaica, we're able to support them, each other. And so from here onwards, we're definitely going to be looking at more tied up work with the American Friends of Jamaica to do more so that we can actually create more impact. This is about social impact. It's about raising the mindsets of in individuals, about yes. helping the youth again with education. As it is written in, in various different quotes, those who read are the ones that lead. And you see, as we have young people, they are the future leaders of tomorrow. And that's why we really want to be involved in the future to work uh, in partnership with the um, American Friends of Jamaica. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to that um, as that develops. And in, in regards to now the digital partners, as to how people can tune in now tomorrow night and getting themselves ready to be a part of this process. Right, so there's there's a number of um, digital uh, partners in both of this. Um, we have uh, obviously we've got VP Records on YouTube, Tough Gun on Rec uh, uh, Tough Gun on YouTube. You also ha will have um, Hype TV streaming, um, Reggae Britannia streaming, UK uh, sorry Jamming UK streaming on Twitter and also on the uh, Instagram channel. Um, there is going to be uh, live streams as well, um, which will be hit um, via the YouTube share across the. European diaspora region in Belgium, um, with Jam in France, as well as um, with uh, Jamaica, Belgium, as well, which will be tapping directly into this. So there's a number of different um, streaming platforms that people can actually access this. And for those that don't see um, VP Records, they might catch it on one of the other channels. And, and we're hoping to engage as many people. We want people to reshare. We want people to go. We want people to post. We want them to go onto the YouTube channel. We want them to connect directly to the donation link, which is the the American Friends of, um, for Jamaica, which is AFJ. AF j.org that the afj.org which is on along the bottom of the yeah. screen and, and and did you miss another organization or media media um company that can also stream it are you missing one that, um uh, we have phoenix new phoenix news no well. man uh, silver and tv man come on man oh silver and tv, <laughs> silver and TV. <laughs> come on i'll give you that of course there. <laughs> of course so, so, so silver and tv will be sharing the youtube on on all of the platforms as well as uh, facilitators for a better jamaica as well yeah um, where the youtube the youtube will be shared on those pages so you can access this yeah. from various different diaspora platforms it is going around we share it with other diaspora groups that so they can share the content and it's important this is not necessarily about entertainment this is about fundraising it is mm. about donation it's about supporting the young people in jamaica it's about the people and you're getting a first class 
concert. Mm. Um, you know, think about how much you would spend on a concert like this. You know, where you've got US artists, you have Jamaican uh, Grammy nominee, um, you know, Grammy award winning yes. um, art, reggae artists. You know, you would pay 50 pounds, 100 pounds, you know, VIP tickets, 250 pounds. We're looking at donors, we're looking at companies. Grace Kennedy, UK, Grace Foods, all of the companies here. Man, donate. We need those thousands. We need the five thousands. We need that to come in in euros and in pounds. Well, Share the link. Yes. Well, I think I think Caron, you got the right man there to challenge people to get themselves going, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I sure do. We sure yeah. do. We sure yeah. do. And, so, and, and let, may I also acknowledge our sponsors here: yeah, uh, JetBlue, uh, Grace Kennedy, uh, Caribbean Food Delights, Caribbean Producers Jamaica. Uh, San Marino Paper Products and uh, VP Records and Tough Down Studios have come together to support us through the planning, through the execution of this, and we've been happy to welcome the, uh, the streaming platform partners from the UK to help make this happen in Europe. Um, I'd like to invite your viewers to please join us for this fantastic program tomorrow evening to help us help vulnerable communities in Jamaica. Join us, go to our website, the afj.org that's the a for american f for friends j for jamaica.org help us to help the people in jamaica thank you for having me silburn fantastic and nathaniel thank you as well boss for coming on thank you very much silburn yeah and, and i'm always happy to support anything jamaican as well at this time you know, as I say, straight out of Ochi. It's an original Ochi man, uh, brown, brown, brown. You know? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, you have seen and you've heard the show, so make sure you come on tomorrow night. Um, uh, as you can see, I'll be posting more, more videos, more clips there, and you can read up as to where you can actually go and actually watch the show. You can watch it here on Silburn TV as well because I'll be putting up the screen. And it's very important that I actually talk to Caron. Caron? Chung, about the the different platforms. Sorry, sorry, my apologies there. The different platform, but most importantly, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. To understand the rationale behind this, the rationale behind this is to help Jamaica, help a lot of people. We have all seen the whole impact of COVID nineteen in the UK here. People quarantined, isolated. So, can you think? I think one of the interesting things about this is. As, as a child, child and family lawyer, one of the things I recognize as well is that a lot of people are actually even locked into homes where there's domestic violence issues. A lot of people actually are not able to help their children because schools are not able to see the children who are in homes which are also affected, right? There are many cases which have been still going on where children are being removed. So it, it's, it's a massive thing. And as you say, Caron, Caron um, this is a new dispensation, a new time, and everybody has got to play a part in this whole thing. So it's not just about the concert, but what the concert represents and the whole help for it. Yep. Is that fair, guys? Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for your advocacy. We're looking yes. forward to having all of Europe and beyond online yes. watching the concert, checking out the COVID story, which is very captivating, very compelling. And please support, help us support vulnerable communities in Jamaica. Thank you. Fantastic. And watch your last video, which I'm going to put up now. And um, uh, Nathaniel and Karen, if you can just stay there while I just play this video, I will come back to you in the green room. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome, Welcome to the boys and girls. It's Rodney Price, a.k.a. Bounty Killer. Yo, this is Skip Marley. Yes, yes, listen to live. My name is Leela Haikin. Hi, I'm Shishi Kanye. Good evening, Santi. 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 Good ev